name is Bianca from the Stampin' Bee, and today I have for you a really fun and kind of messy project that we're going to do today. It is using the new little coffins that they sell in the new holiday catalog. Aren't these the coolest? And I decorated them with the shimmery embossing paste. Isn't that neat? Oh my gosh. I'm actually so obsessed with it. And it's a simple little decoration. It's only on the lid. And it's super cute. And I also did one with the polka dots. Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh, these are so, so, so cute. I got really excited when we got coffins. I don't know why, I just, I love Halloween stuff and I thought they were the coolest thing. So we're going to be using um, like the decorative masks to make it. And I'm going to show you a couple of tricks. Now, when I first made it, I only did the actual top top. Let me, I think I have the one. I just did the top. I didn't do the sides or anything. And you can see it kind of it came off on the sides a little bit. And I was like, that's really hard to avoid. Now, I had already put this together and then did the masking on top. Um, and it didn't turn out as nice as I would have liked it to. So, with this one, I tried it where I did the edges. Now I did it two ways. This one I taped off and that's what we're going to do today. I taped off with washi tape the edges that need to be glued together to build your box. This one I did not do that and you can see it kind of pops up a little bit. It stays for the most part. It's very loose though because they don't, so you can see it kind of overlap that. It didn't close as nicely and tight as I would have liked it to. It's a little bubbly here. Still works, still turned out great. But this one is a nice tight close because I was able to glue the edges to it. So all I'm suggesting is that when it comes to it, I just used washi tape to cover up all my spots that are going to be used to um, glue the box together. So, before we get to that, let's get, we have our mask, you can see I've used it a lot already. These things you do need to wipe off right away, so we will be doing that as well. I have my shimmery white embossing paste. And we're just going to take a little bit from here. I have my little palette knives and my um, silicone mat. I'm not going to take a lot. This is probably even too much. So I'll put a little bit back. But that should be enough to cover what we want to cover. I'm just making the one today. All right, I want to mix this close. And then I'm going to get my gorgeous grape reinker. I'm only going to do about three drops depending on how light or how dark you want it is depending on how many drops you add. So I just do three. I only have this little bit. And I just try to mix it in there really good. Make sure I get it all off the knife. You don't want any white. You don't want any of the dark. You want it to be as even as possible. All right, so that's ready to go. You kind of have to work quickly only because this stuff will dry very, very fast. So I'm going to add my mask right on here. I'm actually going to tape it down right where I want it. And then I'm just going to spread it on there. And you're going to cover the whole thing and kind of even it out as you go. So this is very fun. Your projects come out amazing. I love this stuff. I have to say this particular mask though reminds me of the Haunted Mansion. For all my Disney people out there, this definitely reminds me of the Haunted Mansion. It just has that design to it of when you're inside. And right now they have everything decorated like Haunted Mansion wise for Halloween. So just 
move this all around. All right. And that should do it. So I'm going to run and wash this off because you have to do it right away. And then I will be back. And in that time, it should dry. Okay, so while we let this dry a little bit more, it's coming together nicely. It looks so cute. All right, we're going to let this dry. Let me set it over here. And we're going to make our little tag. So let me, I'm going to make our little vampire. I'm going to use Memento ink. And then we're going to color him in. I had him originally looking good. Um, the purple I had around the edge was actually Blackberry Bliss, and it doesn't quite match that gorgeous grape. They don't have a gorgeous grape, and I was using the blends. So I'm actually just going to be doing it like a dark gray around the edge instead. And then we'll color him in as well. This little vampire is too cute. I like the little mummy too. I'm glad there was little characters. There's even a bunch of other little characters they have all over the designer series paper that goes with this. I believe it's Monster Bash. Yeah, it's very, very, very cute Halloween stuff this year. So we did that around the edge. I'm going to be using light and dark petal pink i liked how this came out as far as his um appearance it kind of went dark around his eyes a little bit just a little detail this is my own little detail that i liked to add not necessary but it just gave him a little bit of life I just went around him really lightly. And then, let's see, what else can we do? I'm probably going to color his shirt the dark. Keep him very dark. And then I'm going to use the light pool party. And just lightly go around the edge just to make him stand out. The reason I do this is because... Yeah. Alright, I hope this works. My phone is dying at a rapid rate. So I'm trying very quickly to get this project done. It is my last video of the day. So, I am now just peeling off that washi tape off of the edge here. And this will, like I said, allow you to glue your box up nicely Come on. although it wants to stick to me and there isn't any in particular washi tape you use you just any kind that you know will come off easily not something that's more permanent and then just gently fold because you are folding into the actual design so all right move this guy out of the way and let's get this all closed up so what I found to use the best was the glue um, only because I tried using tear and tape and it didn't quite work that well for me the um, snail definitely won't work because that's just too light This will. There we go. You just gotta hold it for a little bit. Get it all ready. And it just it just held on to it the best. The best that I could tell.
There we go, and it goes together like so. It's so cute. I just, I'm in love with these. I'm gonna need to get me some more <laughs> because they are just so much fun to work with. And then I already put my bottom together, so there we go. That fits on there nicely. Grab some dimensionals for my vampire, and then he will stick on right there. Perfect. So there we go. There's our embossed, our pretty embossed little coffins to decorate for Halloween. All right, hope you guys have a great day. Everything again will be listed on my blog, stampandbee.com, all the product information, um, measurements, all the tools, everything I use to make these guys. All right, have a great day. Bye.